To make a ruler, we need a few things. A straight edge, a well-defined unit, such as, say, this. I've taken a piece of paper which has a straight edge, and then I've drawn two lines which are separated there. This gives us a well-defined unit. Now I could take this unit and measure, say, some object like a pen. And it becomes quickly apparent that if my unit of measure is smaller than the thing that I'm measuring, it'd be useful to have uh, repeated measurements, repeated units. So there we need a, a, uh, some sort of unit. And if we want to make something more uh, precise than, say, just this large, we need to subdivide that. In, if this is one, we could divide it in half. And then we'd have half of a unit. So this kind of defines a ruler. We can see that now with, say, this yardstick or meter stick where we have taken some arbitrary distance here, a centimeter or an inch, and we've repeated that unit, so one, two, three, four, and then we've divided that same unit, one, into millimeters here, and then a half inch, quarter inch, and so on. So this is the idea behind a ruler. The question quickly becomes, if we look at this ruler here, and we've taken a centimeter and divided it into 10 subdivisions, we can see that it would be hard to introduce another 10 subdivisions here. So the question is, if we want more precision for our ruler, how do we go about finding that?